Hey guys, I'm Alana from Win Win and today I've got a very special guest. Without a doubt, there are two jobs that people are always asking us about and that is obviously a dump truck traineeship and a site admin role. So basically today I've got the lovely Jay with me who's gonna, who is a site admin and is going to explain what her job is. Jay, thank you so much. Um, tell me, how did you get into being a site admin? It was... Um, it was... Something that I've never done before, I come from a retail background, so I've been in retail um, since I was 16 and my background is hairdressing as well as, you know, um, training and administration and I decided that I would, I'd like to try something completely different. So I decided that I would get into the mining industry and I started back in January of 2022 and I love it. You either love it or you hate it and I love it. Yep. Definitely. I actually did it myself for a while and it wasn't for me. Like being stuck in an office all day when I saw people driving around, I was like, that's what I want to do instead. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. But, you know, some people are like just perfect for that role. So who would you say this role would fit perfectly? Someone who's got the biggest thing um, out there at the moment is site administration experience. But if you don't have that site administration experience, but you have a, a broad um, background of administration, that will really help you. And there's a, obviously there's quite a few programs that you need to be using for doing site admin roles. So, you know, having making sure that you, you know about INX, making sure that you know about Pronto or SAP, they're the, they're the real key things that you need to sort of know. So if you have a background with some of those, just keep applying. That's what I did. I just kept applying until someone goes, you know what, I'm going to give her that opportunity. And once your foot is in the door, the world's your oyster then. Definitely. And that's what I found a lot of people, like people even with really strong admin backgrounds, they're like, I cannot get in. And it's one of the hardest jobs to get into because a lot of companies like Compass Group and all that, they will actually hire from like within. So give the cleaners a shot and you need to know all that INX and SAP and Pronto and Oracle. So yes, yeah, spot on with that one, Jay. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you've got, if you don't know those programs, it wouldn't hurt to maybe, if this is the career that you're wanting to go down, the path you want to go down and you're very serious about this it wouldn't hurt to go and do a couple of courses and at least wrap your head around those programs so you can have that on your cv and it looks great that's part of yeah that'll be the main thing yeah absolutely if it hits the keyword count in the applicant tracking system you're good to go at least that's getting past that one hurdle right there so yeah correct yeah. 100%. So tell me, from the moment that you wake up in the morning to the moment that you go to bed at night, what does a typical day look like for you within your site admin role? Absolutely. Well, I'm up at 4.30 every morning. Um, I shower and get myself organised and ready. Um, and I get down to the dry mess at about 10 to 5 in the morning. So I have a not necessarily a bite to eat because it's too early in the morning for me, but I'll prepare some breakfast for myself and get my crib ready uh, for the day. And then I meet my team at about 5. And then we head off down to site, which is about 10 minutes from camp. Um, and then the first thing I do is we make sure we do our breatho test. That is the, um, the first thing we do in the morning. Then we set up our computers and then we go for our toolbox meeting. They're very important. We do those every single morning. And then basically once the toolbox meeting has been um, done, then we, we're, we're into it. We're right into the, the thick of things. So, um, you know, making sure that we're looking at all the work that we've got coming through. There is emails always coming through, flight issues, rostering. Um, obviously, we do PPE ordering. We do mobilisations. So there is a lot to do. And I look after two mine sites. Oh. So I'm I'm going back and to from, you know, different, different mine sites. And they operate differently as well. So I have a 12-hour shift. So around 5.30 at night is when we hopefully can finish the shift. <laughs> um Sometimes we, we do stay over. Um, there might be some urgent flights. We need to make sure that they're all sorted out before we leave our desk. But generally around about 5.30 is, is going home time or going home. Um, and then we make our way back into camp. Um, where I work, you've got to make sure that you've got no high vis. So we go back to our room and we change into, you know, our normal clothing before we go back to the dry mess have dinner and then if you are active enough go and go to the gym go for a walk uh, or if you like to have a little bit of a drink after work then sometimes you can go down to the wet mess and have a little bit of a drink 
or you go back to your room and you chill out and relax because I like to be in bed about 8.30, yeah. 8.39 because obviously I, I, I want to have a full seven hour sleep. Yeah, definitely. And and so what, do you usually go to the gym after work or you're more like, no, I'm just going to go chill out? So I'll go to the gym. Sometimes I'll just get my joggers or my walkers on and I'll just go for a walk around camp because there's paths everywhere. So I'll just go in and out of the different mazes of, the of you know, different rooms and head around and go for a bit of a walk. And um, if I want to be out in the fresh air, I'm supposed to be in, in a gym, you know. So, yeah, I try and balance the two out. Yeah, it's good when you're doing an admin role like that. You kind of feel like you need because you've got that mental stimulation going on. I need, I need to move around and do something, you know. Absolutely, and because yeah. you're sitting for such a long period of time, um, you forget to get up. Yeah, you forget to go and sometimes have your lunch. You eat while you're working, and you and you need to around because you know you're on your, you're sitting down for such a long period of time. So you've got to keep yourself active and fit. Yeah, definitely. And what's the uh, what's the greatest challenge associated with this role? Oh, look, the greatest challenge I think is because when you well, in my role in particular, um, obviously working out looking after two mine sites, that it is inundated. So yeah. the emails you think you're getting on top, and then you'll get another fifty emails come through. So um, the challenge is to prioritize your work. That is the biggest thing I've learned is to prioritize. So I do everything in color coding. Yep. So the priority is in is in red and then I'll put things in green if it's next month, if it's an annual leave for next month, and then I'll put it into there because it's not urgent. So I've learned to prioritise my my day and work on the things that are need to be done within 24, 70, you know, odd hours or, you know, two or three days and make sure I focus on those opposed to trying to do everything in one hit. Good plan. That sounds like my job too. And what what is the best part about this job? I think what I love about it the most is meeting different people. You meet different people, different walks of life. It is a great way to network. Yeah. Fantastic way to network. So if you have dreams and goals and this is just your starting point, then, you know, get to know all the people that you work with in camp, your contractors, everyone that you, you know, you can sit and have dinner with or go and have a drink with because that could be an opportunity in five to ten years you might want to go, you know, like myself, I'd like to get back into training. That's my background. So, but you know what, you've got to start somewhere and, you know, opportunities and, you know, networking, making friends um, is one of the biggest things. Definitely. hundred percent uh, agree with you with that one. Sometimes it was a double-edged sword working in admin because you go to have your lunch and everyone's like, what about my flights? What about my accommodation? Like blah, blah, blah. Exactly. But, then, but then it's great because you get to meet absolutely who's who in the zoo. So it gives you, opens up those opportunities. Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. And look, if you can, if you do get a side admin role, I always make sure I get up off my desk and I go somewhere. Like I'll go into the boardroom and I'll go and eat my lunch because then I'm not where I'm. There. If someone walks in and I'm not there, that's my time to have some lunch and decompress yeah. and just, you know, just be able to eat and um, enjoy that moment, then get back out. <laughs> Yeah, you've got to draw that line somewhere, hey, Russ. It just never ends. <laughs> you do. Definitely. And tell me, Jay, you've got a bit of a unique situation. Um, what was the money like? Or, <laughs> or... Look, I'll be very honest. Um, it's not great. It's not great where I am. It isn't. But I am grateful. Um, I, I, I got into the FIFO. I was working for Rio Tinto prior to that. Um, and I was there for um, eight or nine months and an opportunity came up for FIFO and I took it. Um, I was casual to start with for three months and I was on extremely good money. But when I went full time with um, the company I'm with, then unfortunately, it is not great. But um, I put it down to experience. I put it down to this is this is where I want to be. If I didn't like what I'm wanting to do, then I have to get out. So um so you've got to start somewhere. So, I'm, yes, it's not great, but opportunities. It's all about opportunities. Yep. And and that's let's go with a past tense. It wasn't great, but now it's getting better. <laughs> Definitely. And, it is better. It is getting yeah. better. And the sky's the limit with admin roles. There are so many out there, different rosters, different um, different rates of pay. So there are literally, I've seen people in $180,000 admin roles. So they do exist. It just is a, is a case of getting that experience especially with the programs and then working your way up and seeing which way that you want to go with it. Absolutely. And, you know, it's not forever. So if you have dreams and goals, you know, aim for those. So if the money is not great, yes, it's 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 a starting point. But you know that once you get your experience up, you, you, you're 
pretty much know how to use all the programs and you're feeling really confident, then you know what? Then you can go out there and look for the bigger and better things if that's what you want to do. Yeah, definitely. And how did you find um, adjusting to learning all of these different programs when you first got thrown into the deep end? It's like, oh, now you need to learn INX, SAP, all these all these different programs. Absolutely. So obviously from a retail background, I didn't really need to use, I didn't have to do flights. You know, I was a, I was a training manager, so they were done for me. But, you know, now um, like INX, I'd never, learned, I'd never used it before, SAP a little bit. Pronto, never. So there was a lot of uh, programs, but the way I train, the way I do it is I will sit with someone for a few days and I will write it down, dot point. And then I make sure that I get on there and say, let me have a go. And until in the end, I've got my own little training manual. So I, that's how I work. I make up training manuals for myself and my book stays with me the whole time. Yeah. And that's I learn. And I learn very quickly that way. So yeah, they were challenges. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> I remember I remember in the site admin role that I was doing, I learned one um, flights booking platform and then about a week later they're like, oh, by the way, we're just bringing this new one in. It's like, oh, great. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so, start again. Just what yeah, we're that, doing at the moment at work is a new, another platform is coming in. So, you know, you're always learning. You're always evolving. Yeah. And you know what? It's another program. It's another feather in the cap. Absolutely. Oh, it's quite, it looks great on your CV because now you've done A, B, C, D, and E. So definitely, yeah. and the more programs that that you've got, the more buying power or negotiation power when it comes to your next job. And you can say, yeah, but I've done this, 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 and this. Like, right. come on, show me yeah. the money. Exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Yeah. Okay. And so what is your best advice for somebody who's con who's sitting on the fence there in all the Facebook groups going, is a site admin role right for me? How do I get one? What's your best advice, best advice for somebody? Look, if this is what you really want to do, you know, write down the pros and cons of, of the job. You know, the biggest thing is obviously you're going to be away from home. Depending on the roster, I, I do eight and six. So I'm away for eight days and I'm on a home for six. Um, you're doing 12-hour shifts, so long shifts. You're away from your family. You miss out on some of the important things that are going on in life. Yeah. Um, you know, write those things down and write down, you know, obviously the money and whether it's going to be worth your while doing it. But be persistent. Like, don't give up. If this is really what you want to do, and with mining, you either love it or you hate it. So you won't know until you set foot on that red, beautiful red dirt and you get out there and you and you give it a good go. You might find in a month, you know, this is not for me. But don't give up. Give it a shot because then you can always come back to doing what you were doing prior. But at least you say you've had a go. And if you love it, keep going. Just keep going. Yeah, definitely. And save your money as well. That is one of the big things. You yes. know, jet skis are awesome, but do you really need four of them? Probably That's not. That's exactly right. And, you know, <laughs> you are saving money home so you save electricity you're saving on petrol you're saving on on food you know so they're, they're the pro you know some of the good things about big flying away is that you know your bills are not as big you Definitely. know and um, yeah so there's pros and cons but write them down and if you really want to do it do it yeah, a hundred percent. And even if you just go and do it first and work out whether you like it later, once you're up there, the doors open like you would not believe. Like, you know, you might decide, oh, that's it. I want to go drive a truck. So because you've got those connections, you can actually just, hey, uh, any positions available, blah, 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 and see which way that you can go with it. So yeah, just go do it. Yeah, absolutely. And look, if that if your goal is to go and branch out that way and do a training role, you might want to be a facilitator or a HSE trainer or something like that. Then on your weeks off, you know, you maybe could do a, a you know, a course where you're doing a 12 month course on a cert for and training and assessment or and then your diploma and HSE. If that's where you want to go, it gives you an opportunity to do your job. Then when you come home, you can maybe do some studying, things like that to branch off into where you need to be in the future, five, 10 years down the track. Yep, spot on. And so tell me, what's next for you? Are you like, you know, open to being approached by employers who might need a kick-ass um, site admin or what's the go there? I'm, I'm sort of happy with what I'm doing because um, there's possibilities already for me um, yep. in the pipeline. Um, but my future, um, whether I stay being a site administrator I most probably won't because my my passion is training. So, and I do have that cert for and training assessment. So, um, you know, it's about getting your foot in the door and showing people what you're about and what you can do. And again, networking and making sure you're talking to some key people and always looking and seeing. But right now I'm really happy in the role that I'm doing 
and I love what I do. So, um, yeah, I'll just continue down my path and then see what happens in five to ten years' time for me. Amazing. Well, I'll tell you what, it has been lovely speaking to you and putting a face to the uh, to the person that I've been talking to for a while. Wonderful. Thank you, Alana. And I can't thank you guys enough for your CV. It's really, it's been amazing. So if you do need to get a CV done, please get these guys to do it because it made all the difference to yeah. me getting jobs and phone calls. You are welcome. Like I said, you're my mission. When I spoke to you that day, I was like, that's it. <laughs> game on. So, yes, game on, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So, look, it has been amazing. Thank you so much for um, talking about your job. All the best with your with your new, new upcoming job there. <laughs> oh, thanks, Alana. Thank you so much for asking me to do this with you today. It's been, it's been an absolute pleasure. You are welcome. And if you're watching at home and you've got a kick-ass job that you want to come on and talk to uh, me about, feel free in the comment section below to get in contact or hit us up at info at winwin.com.au and we could do an interview like you, like like this one right here. So thanks for watching. Thank you, Jay. Have an awesome afternoon. Thanks, guys, and good luck. Bye. <laughs> Bye.